Hi, welcome to my channel, Taco Yakitero. Today is October 7th, 2024. My last video was yesterday. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can make this video super short, like super, super short. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, righty. You know what? I do have to get some sage going. Um, this piece is still good. So, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. If they resonate with you, it gives you clarity, great. If it does not, then don't force it to be your story. Okay. So, ah. oh, where'd it go? It wasn't even lit. Okay, it's like 9.45 right now in the morning. And the M. M or FUM. Okay, so oh, that one was lit. I don't know. I don't really have any, um. I'm just gonna pull cards. What is that? The lovers? Yeah, the lovers is popping out. So there could be something about um, balance, you being balanced within yourself, having inner peace. Yeah, I feel like... So, here's the thing, right? The lover's card also represents balance. You know, it's more about the balance within yourself. The good and the bad, the yin, the yang. The masculine, the feminine, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think it's the yang that is feminine and the yin that is masculine. Either or, you get what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you are... It's just, like, still very calm, very still, very balanced. Like you can sit down and be still within yourself. That's that's really um that's it really. I guess I'm going to be using this deck. Okay, I'll be using this deck as well. I hardly use this deck though. But we're going to use it. What? Uh, hold on. Yes. Okay, in this deck as well. Oh boy. <clears throat> I had some dreams last night, but... I 
I just heard somebody blowing their nose outside. There's something like amusing, funny, like not like weird, like like it's like ha 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 funny, like very amusing energy. <sighs> I'm sorry I lied. So somebody wants to apologize for lying. I have a feeling that whoever is apologizing is coming from this deck. They're in this deck. And that's why I have to pull from it today. Spiritually fertile. So they could be apologizing because they're realizing how spiritually fertile you are, how abundant you are, how it seems like whatever you touch, it turns to gold, right? So they want to apologize to you. You know, I'm hearing something about a dead end. Like, they could have... They could have said that you were a dead end, or um, your energy was a dead end, or it was leading them to a dead end. Alright? But, obviously, that's not the case, because you're spiritually fertile. Whatever you touch, you can multiply. Right? So you're definitely a divine person. Right? It's, I'm hearing that thing, like, if you give a... a um, if you give a wife a home, uh, if, you, if you give a wife a house, she'll build a home. She'll make it into a home. If you give a wife ingredients, she'll turn it into a meal, right? Something, something like that, right? So whether you're divine feminine, divine masculine, you're spiritually fertile. Whatever you touch, it multiplies, it turns to gold, it's abundant, etc., etc., so on and so forth. So I feel like uh, part of the lies that they were saying was that your energy was a dead end or you were going towards a dead end or there was no progress or forward movement around by being around you. It really has to do about being around your energy. And they're sorry they lied. Those, part of, those were part of the lies. I don't know about all the lies, but those were part of the lies. It says, used you for money, they want what you have. Used you for money, they want what you have. Now this is talking about past tense, used you for money. So they're sorry that they lied. They're sorry that they used you. They're sorry that they used you for the things that you have that they wanted. They could also currently want what you have right now. But I feel like in the past, they definitely used you for money and they lied. So they used you and they lied. So one of the reasons why they did this is because they want what you have. If we're talking about past tense, in that moment that they were lying and using you, that's they wanted what you have, right? So, if, yes, my love. New home, new job, new car, new life is on the bottom of the deck. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so where was I? New home, new job, new car, new life. Wow, we're really getting into this. Um, this person could have wanted the opportunity to also say they were getting a new home, new job, new car, new life. Or now, the only reason why they're apologizing is because they see how spiritually fertile you are. And it's like, to them and their mind, if they 
do right by you, they will somehow be blessed with a new home, new job, new car, new life. But it's like they have to do right by you, right? It's some that's that's the way they're thinking. I'm not saying that's how that is. That's not always the case, all right? I'm not going to get into that, but yeah. So they're realizing that whatever, however they were going about your energy was the wrong way. However they were approaching you, however they were, it was just wrong, 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 all right? And it was not guaranteeing them what they thought it was going to be. They were going to be guaranteed by doing it this way. So now they want to apologize. There's some sort of, um, this apology is like, part of it is genuine, but part of it also feels like they don't know why exactly they're, um, apologizing because they don't exactly know why they did what they did. Does that make sense? Right? But part of them really does mean it, but at the same time, they're like, why am I doing this? Why did I do that? What's going on? So it's, it's not, I mean, I don't know, you, you take that how you want to take that, so... But, um, A for effort, I guess. Mm, okay, arms up. Here, 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 here. You gotta take it back. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Stop listening to liars. nightly prayers so somebody's still lying I feel like um, this could be a little warning to you to stop listening to this person but I also feel like this this person they need to stop lying to themselves it's like this person they're they are their own um, worst enemy. I'm hearing saboteur, right? It's like they self-sabotage. Saboteur, yeah. It's, uh, they lie to themselves. They self-sabotage. They could also be listening to other people around them. That's, prob that's probably one of the reasons why they don't really know why they even lied in the first place. Okay? I don't know. I feel like there's something sad about this because it's like it's like somebody who betrayed you, but they have no idea why they betrayed you, but they're just sorry that they did what they did. But they because they don't understand, they cannot comprehend like what their actions have done. So, they may not be that smart. Either they're not I mean, either that or they're just not that, like, they're not paying attention. <sighs> yeah, they're definitely not paying attention to, like, um, what's in front of them, like, how, like, detrimental... The things that, like, your actions and your lies and the things that you do. Like, you have to be aware of what's going on so that way you're understanding, like, why it's okay to do this. Why it's not okay to do that. It's If you're not aware, you're not going to know why it's wrong or why it's right or why it's okay, right? But, like, the thing is, it's like this person, like, they can feel it in their spirit that something is not right. But because they don't really, 1444, because they don't really understand or get it. They just know that it's not right and they want to apologize. But, like, they don't... <sighs> They're just not paying attention. Alright, so we have your DNA has got signature. God created you specifically, which is why you are fertile. That's why you are so abundant. And everything you touch is like King Midas. Everything he touched it turns to gold, right? Or, like, everything that other king, the green thumb, right? Everything you touch, it grows. That's you. That's your energy. Because you are... You have God's signature. You're a chosen one, darling. 
nightly prayers. <sighs> they want what you have. Let me see what's going on with that card. It could be about your reputation. They want your reputation or they wanted your reputation. The letter S could be somebody's first, last, middle, initial name of a word or a place. So this person definitely wants your reputation. Oh, I'm hearing I'm hearing snake as well. I'm seeing the card that goes, uh, I wrote a card that says they slither behind your back. So yeah, this could be the liar. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this person, but it seems like they're just lying to themselves. That's, they're lying to themselves, they lied about you, they lied and used you, and they either are a snake or they were a snake. But it's weird because like it, nothing they do it sits right with them. Nothing they do, it, it feels good. Like their spirit, it, it, it doesn't feel good in their heart. Like they, it, it, no, they know. But it's like it's not clicking. The reason why it's not feeling good is because you're not supposed to be doing it. It doesn't feel good because it's not who you are. It doesn't feel right because that's not the path that you should be going down. This could also all be past tense. Right? They're realizing that this was just not the way to go. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this is a more like past tense now. So they were doing all of this and it wasn't clicking. I don't I can't say it clicked now. Right? I can't say that it's I keep picking up on two signs. I keep picking up on a a water element and a fire element. But yeah. Their emotions are all over the place, it seems. And it's like they have all of this anger, energy, passion, enthusiasm, but it's like they're not exactly sure where to direct it, where to what to put it in, what to invest all of that into. <sighs> Heartbroken by their own actions, I told you. Heartbroken by their own actions. So if this person was like being a snake behind your back, it, they just knew it wasn't... Every time they did something like that, or they lied... Or they did this, or they did that, or they said this, they said that. It, it just wasn't sitting right. Like, it would make them feel like poop. Like, like their stomach would be hurting. Or, like, um, their cranial would feel like it's, like, fuzzy and on fire. Or, like, I don't know, they would start sweating. It, it's just, whatever they did something to betray you, a chosen one of God... They would literally feel the physical results of that action. And it just it just made them sick. Like, it would always make them sick. Or they would always not feel well. Or, like... I don't know. It's just... Yeah. So, yeah, this person, they broke their own heart by doing this. You're heartbroken by their own actions. I'm hearing, like, this person is going through, like, some sort of revelation within themselves. And their environment. Um, their life. Right, their spirit. The universe wants you to heal your inner child. Yeah, so this person, they're being called to heal. Whether this is a feminine or a masculine. For some of you, it's a feminine. For some of you, it's a masculine, right? But the two elements that I was picking up on was water and fire. For some of you, it could be a feminine and a masculine. But they're definitely being called to heal their inner child because it's like... They're only doing these things... As like, it's kind of like, you ever see, I just, oh my god, so crazy, because I knew, I knew this was going to come up again. I knew it. I was watching The Fox and the Hound, right? And I was watching, I saw it on Disney, 
I was like, oh, there's something in here that's going to come up again very soon. So I started watching it, and sure enough, here we are, right? So the fox and the hound, blah, 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 whatever. Um, she named him Todd. The fox, she named the little toddler, because he's a toddler when she found him. So she named him Todd. But it's kind of like, so he's a toddler, he's a baby. And when she tried to help him, he was trying to, like, bite and attack and claw at her. It's like this, right? It's like, so these could be, like, adults. And you were, like, trying to be there for them or trying to be helpful or just, you were just there. But it's kind of like the old lady, the grandma, she was, like, trying to, like, give her hand out to Todd and, like, trying to, like, you know, she was trying to save him. But this is what this is like. So if you were, like, trying to help someone or extend a helping hand and they were, like, biting and attacking and clawing at you right that's the hurt inner child that was the hurt inner child in them but it's like every time they bit you or claw at you or, or lied or betrayed you like it didn't feel good to them to their spirit My is why pumpkin pie My your dress is inside out you got to fix your dress oh here i'll help you hold on okay so yeah it's kind of like that um so they were like, that's what I'm saying, like they were doing all of these things and part of them didn't even realize why they were doing it or why it was wrong or, but they just knew like it just wasn't right. It didn't feel good to their spirit. Like it just physically, it didn't feel good and they don't even know why they were doing it. it they were just operating and acting out of their hurt inner child. So now the reason why I'm saying that this could have been in the past because they could have been doing some healing the past couple years months weeks days you would know take out how they resonates with your timeline so they could have been doing some healing and now they want to apologize for all the hurt that they've caused you and a lot of that is because they're realizing like the actions they they i don't know they're so let's say they had a they already had a broken heart because of their unhealed inner child, right? So, not only their inner child, on top of that inner child, that inner child's heart was broken. So, they're just attacking you, right? So, now they're realizing, they've after some healing, right, the realization that they hurt you based off of themselves is heartbreaking, so now they have another heartbreak to heal. So this person could have been dealing with some sort of cycle within themselves. It's like they want to break some... They're tired of eating themselves alive, in a sense. All right? Because I was just seeing aura squirrels. <clears throat> so yeah. Spirit baby. Goldfish crisps. On TV, a commercial just came on, and it was a goldfish and um, a sour cream and onion cracker, and they were dancing together, and they just kind of like combined together. It's for the new commercial, the Goldfish Crisps. But here's the thing: the reason why it's so funny is because the car came out a spirit baby. So this could be like a. I, I feel like it's so cliche to say this, but this could be like a, a twin flame, right? And you're supposed to, you're supposed to like have a create a magical baby with this person, a spirit baby, or this person wants to create something new with you, right? They want to start over with you, start new with you. Ooh, my palm is itchy what is that saying don't let your right hand know that your left hand is giving so when your right palm itches you're going to be receiving so if your right palm is itchy you're going to be receiving something if your left palm is itchy you're going to be giving away something it really is about money though
Okay, let me move this commercial. This does chips. Sustainability doesn't have to be. So yeah, Spirit Baby. Or for some of you too, you could also... You, oh, you know what? I'm getting... You could be a Spirit Baby and this person could be a Spirit Baby. But they just have to like... Heal themselves. And... Stop lying to themselves. And then they too will realize that they can literally do whatever it is that they want to do. But they just got a lot of cleaning up to do. For some of you, this is weird because in the background, for some of you, you could have like an uncle, an uncle that's hiding in plain sight, but that's nothing to be stressing about. There's an uncle hiding in plain sight. So this uncle of yours could be like watching you or trying to keep tabs on you. Yeah, we have uncle hiding in plain sight behind spirit baby or this person's uncle was like an instigator or something or like I don't know antagonizing or um some uncle figure is hiding but they, they don't think that they're being seen, but they are. They're being seen. All right, let me get some of these, and then I'm going to um, move on to tarot. I feel like for some of you, you have a uh, nosy uncle. And they think that they're being slick and sly with being nosy, but they're not. This could be your uncle, it could be a uncle, or someone you just call unk. I'm gonna get four. I got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see. Well, I see you again. I don't want to be the reason you cry. Princess! <laughs> Hold on. Nope, leave it. No. That's not? Mm mm. I know I was a fool, but I'm truly sorry. 
And then we have I'm sorry I lied. I'm done pretending. So yeah, I guess they're done lying to themselves. Lying about you, your energy. Um, trying to be a snake. Trying to hurt you and be weird with your energy. I don't know. I guess they're done. So they must have gone through some sort of realization recently. Because all this is coming up. The first card that came out was, I'm sorry I lied. So you could be finding out about a lie that this person was saying about you or has said about you. I don't know, too. The, the, the way it's coming out, too, it's kind of coming out like they're not trying to stop it from coming out either like if you find out about it you find out about it and that's just gonna be like I don't know it's like this person they're the way their energy is they're tired of the lies and tired of pretending they're just tired of it so if you find out you find out cuz I feel like I don't know they're going through some changes right now <laughs> Like all they want to really do right now is this, they just want to like you're on their mind heavily like 24 7 so they just want to see you and they don't want to like the way I'm seeing it is like they want you to like lay your head on their chest I know I was a fool but I'm truly sorry well Yeah, there it is again. They're done eating themselves alive. Like, saboteur. They're done self-sabotaging, lying, pretending. I don't know why I have to use this deck. This deck is, like, so long. Although I did say water and fire element, and this is more elemental than it is cups and wands. I guess it could be that. That's why. Oh my god. How did I do this before? You know what? I'm going to do it like this. Because these need to be shuffled. Got to shake it up. Seven of water, yeah. Seven of water. This this is actually the seven of not in this deck, but the seven of cups in my other decks has been coming out a lot lately. So I feel like one of the reasons why this seven of water fell on heartbroken by their own actions. Cause let's say you were crying over this person, blah 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 blah. Um you were feeling used and abused and mistreated, etc., etc., so on and so forth. Um, like an emotional punching bag, if you will, right? Um, you're like, why am I going to put up with this when I have all of these options, all of these opportunities, all of these offers? Why am I crying over one fool? Right? So I feel like I think that's what it was. It was like the catalyst to their, like, oh my gosh. Like, this has to stop. I can't be doing this. I gotta, I was a fool. I'm done pretending, blah, 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 right? It's like them realizing that they're just one fish in the sea 
of your opportunities, they're realizing they really ain't shit. So they need to <laughs> get right or get gone. And they don't want to get gone, so they're going to get right. All right? So I feel like that's why they're realizing, like, this wasn't the way to go towards your energy because it's like, to you, Collective, you're like, oh, okay, well, sweep, sweep it away, sweep it away, sweep it away, bye, I'm gone. Like, if you're not going to act right, this job is going to act right, or this person's going to act right, or this company is going to act right, or, you know, I'm going to get what I want. <laughs> and I feel like they know that you can do that. Otherwise, the seven of, op like, uh, I was going to say seven of options. <sighs> seven of water wouldn't have come out. Like, and there's, um, there's fire. There's rocks. There's herbs. And it's water. This is kind of giving me, this card in particular from this deck, it's kind of giving me magician energy. Like you being spiritually fertile and you having God's signature, being a chosen one. With the seven of water, you have all the tools and the powers to, <laughs> you can create opportunities out of thin air. You can create things out of thin air. You literally can do that. So if this person's not going to get right, then you're going to get gone and just create what you want to create. It's so funny because I'm seeing, um, what was it, Inside Out? I don't know if it's the first one or the second one. I think it's the first one. Where they were in, like, Imagination Land. It was Joy, Bing Bong, and Sadness. And they were in Imagination Land. And they were, like, this machine. And it just, like, cranked up. And, like, a person came out of it. And Joy was like, what's that? And um, someone said, oh, that's Imaginary Boyfriend. And it's like, it, it just creates the imaginary boyfriend. So that's so funny because, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can literally create what you want. Like, that's how. Good. Your abilities to manifest are. Like, if you really, really want something, you could just be like. And then you got it. You can create it. Hey, so this person, they're realizing, oh, wow, they effed up. So they got to get right. And I think that's what they're doing. They're trying to get right. So in the beginning, um, this person definitely wasn't shit. They definitely were anything. They were eating themselves alive, self-sabotaging, saboteur. Right? And they're just not anything to be looked at. But for some reason, you looked at them. And that's another thing that they're realizing, that when they weren't shit, you were looking at them. So, I don't know, there's just a lot hitting home to this person. It's That's a lot. I feel it. If this person, they're, all the realizations, all the awareness, I don't know, they're just, it's hitting them. It's hitting them hard. The hanged man. So they're seeing things from a different perspective now. This could be a Pisces. There was that water element, right? Um, or this could be also um, a, a fire element. But yeah, this person, they're not seeing things from a different perspective. They're also seeing that if they utilize what they have a certain way, they too will be able to be able to like experience the seven of cups the seven of waters energy right and i feel like your energy was just to show them that and they're realizing that because now it's like i know i was a fool but i'm truly sorry it's like this person they're ready to learn they're ready to go to school right but there's still that part of them that's like wondering why but that's nothing that you can really tell them i mean you may know why right it may be obvious to you but that's something that they need to figure out themselves. So. I mean, if they want to ask you, then... I don't know. You can choose to do what to do with that, but... Realistically, you do not have the answers for this person's life. 
so. But yeah, with the hanged man and its proper position, they're now seeing things. Uh, you've given them a, a change of perspective when it comes to themselves, uh, their life, life as well in general, their beliefs just by being you, just by being able to like, I want to do this and I'm, you know, you do it and then you create whatever you want to create. Your abundance, your fertileness, right? It's, they're seeing things like it's like they've never seen before. They've never realized it before. Oh, I just stuttered really bad. All right. Two of water. It's a lot of water here. You could be a water element. Two of water, which is the two of cups. Yeah, so they want to partner up with you. This is the second time it's come out in my reading as well because the uh, Two of Cups was out yesterday. I also feel like this person wants to partner up with you. I, they want to be worthy of being one of your fishes or options or they want to be worthy of like... I don't know, maybe they didn't feel like they were good enough. But here's the thing. This this person was... It's, it's Alright, it definitely looks like this person was shit before. But you still looked at them. Right? I feel like they could also have been wondering with the Two of Waters and the Seven of Waters why you were looking at them when you have everything else. Or you could have anyone else. Or you could do anything else. Or you could have any opportunity, any job, why you chose their company when you could literally do anything else. But there was something that they were failing to see and I think that they're now seeing this with the hanged man. That they're much more than this self-sabotaging self energy that's continuously heartbreaking themselves and breaking their own hearts and blah 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 whatever. Oh, God. Page of water. Reverse on the bottom of the deck. Why did that sound like a boat? Yeah, page of waters. Um, reverse on the bottom of the deck. That goes with, I know... I was a fool, but I'm truly sorry, and I don't want to be the reason you cry. So emotionally, this person had, they just were not putting two and two together. Like, when they did this, physically, they could feel it. And emotionally, it was just hurting themselves. This is a self-sabotager, but I feel like they don't want to, they're realizing, like, why? Why are they doing that? There's no reason to do that. There's no reason to self-sabotage. You're literally eating yourself up alive and they don't want to do that anymore. Right? Seven of Earth. Seven of... Yeah, so now this person, they want to partner up with you, uh, be in a relationship with you, and invest into that, and work into that. I also feel like this person, they didn't understand why you wanted to partner up with them, why you wanted to invest into them, why you wanted to put into them, which is very sad when you see something in somebody that they don't see in themselves. But this is basically what all of this is and was. Um, this is what the story is. But this situation is in the was, right? This is what this was. Because I feel like for some of you, you could have just like, you're like, all right, well, if you're not getting right, then I'm going to get gone. And you got to get gone. And then that's it. And that's, and now I feel like by that, this person's like <laughs> realizing, oh my gosh, <laughs> right? <sighs> so yeah, seven of earth and two of water. It's so weird. It's like this person, they weren't... I don't know. 
their own lies and self-sabotaging ways, it wasn't letting them see what you were able to seeing them. And it wasn't until you walked away and now they're just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> upright. Yeah. I feel like with the uh, Seven of Waters and the Hanged Man, with the Wheel of Fortune on top of that. Yeah. There's, there's something about this person, too, that it, it, from their perspective, you are someone that wherever you go, you can turn things into gold or you can make it grow, right? With the, um, with the Seven of Water, the Hanged Man, and the Wheel of Fortune. But there's many things that you're... My arm feels like it's burning. There's many things that you're helping this person with, whether you know this or not. But it's also about um, their beliefs, their belief system. Right, uh, Pisces is all about the you know, I, it's I believe that's their motto. I believe so again, you've also their their beliefs is changing, right? I mean, look at this wheel of fortune, it's just got the sun, it's got things growing on it, or uh, what is that, grain and flowers, okay. It really is uh, about how you view things, how you see things. It's your it's, your perspective matters a lot. I also feel like now this person is seeing you as someone that they want to. For some of you, they want to have a baby with you because spirit baby did come out. For some of you, this person they have many, many thoughts. One of their thoughts is that if they have a baby with you, it will guarantee them a spot when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune. Right? There's something about this person where it's like you can't exactly like, you want to take them serious, but there's still something about them that, like, you can't exactly take serious. Like, you're not... <sighs> what is that? There's something. It's getting flighty. Four of fire. That's the four of wands. Yeah, this person, they want a home, they want harmony, they want balance, they want, for some of you, like, marriage, they want to have a marriage celebration, they want to invest, they want to build. For some of you, they could want a romantic partnership with you. Four of fire, seven of earth, two of water, yeah, it's. That's what that is. Because that's the Four of Wands, Seven of Cups. Or, oh my gosh, Seven of Cups. Uh, Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. I was hearing sirens outside, but I was also hearing, like, muffled dogs barking. Like, it just sounded like dogs barking, but, like, they were being muffled. Queen of Fire in reverse. Alright, so there's a Queen of Fire in reverse around here, and she's very bitter and angry about something. It could be the fact that this person wants to be around you. The person who touches and makes it turn to gold or 
touches and it grows. There's a queen of fire in reverse and it's a, it's like, you're not, ma'am, you're not relevant at all. But it's like she is trying to like insert herself into a situation. This doesn't seem like it has anything to do with this queen of fire in reverse. This could be the snake. That's, oh, you know, she has a snake wrapped around her. Here, I'll show you. She has a snake wrapped around her. You see the snake? That's the queen of fire. She has a snake. So, if this person was... I'm not trying to make excuses because everybody has a choice, right? But at the same time, if this person didn't, doesn't even know that witchcraft is... This is somebody who, back then, right, it's easily... They were easily susceptible to, like, witchcraft and manipulation and... Targeted attacks and targeted manipulation and puppeteering because they have no idea. They're not aware. They're not seeing things. They're not in tune. Intuition, what's that? That's not real. They're just not aware. All right. So something happened. They're having a lot of realizations. So there is a snake. This could have, this queen of fire in reverse could have been the snake that was around them that was like. Why am I... I just also saw the uncle card, too. So it could have been a queen of fire in reverse and an uncle around this person. So it could be, like, their aunt and their uncle. Or, like, an aunt figure, an uncle figure, or someone who they called auntie or, like, uncle or unk. I know in some cultures, like... A lot of the um, older women are considered aunties, right? Like, they're just, you just, that's like, um, that's just how you greet them. They're aunties or uncles, right? So this person could be from Asian descent or Asian, right? Especially if they come from a culture where, you know, they greet people like hello auntie or hello uncle even though they're not like blood aunt uncle it's just like a a cultural <sighs> respect term that you use but yeah but there's a queen of fire in reverse around this person the Hierophant, but there's nothing that they can do because God's here. And not only God, but whoever... So this could be a masculine um, who's not exactly karmic anymore, right? They're not quite divine, but they're not karmic anymore, right? They're, they're leaning more towards divine every day. And they're straying less and less away from karmic every day. So if there's a, the Queen of Fire in reverse, the snake lady around them... I'm hearing that song by... Um, who, who who is it? She's tall. Stallion. Meg, Meg the Stallion. Watashi was sta. 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 Yeah, that song is about a snake lady. It's like a, a, a Japanese folk legend, right? But yeah, this, this could have been like a snake charmer. Like she was trying to manipulate him and puppeteer him and charm him with her feminine prowess. This is a whore. Right, and I know I just said this person could have been their aunt, but like, that's not in certain like, it's not like a blood aunt. It's just it could have been someone older than them where it was like do this and they do it. But yeah, this is like a horror, a, a snake charmer. Oh dear, gosh, yeah. And she can't do this anymore because God is like right there with the Hierophant. Right behind the Queen of Wands in reverse. So God is making sure. And this person, they're using um, their faith now. So if this snake, ooh, the snake in reverse, I was going to say. If this queen in reverse, if this queen of fire in reverse is trying to like 
confuse him mentally. I did this. This reading is a continuation of a reading I did, uh, like, I think last week about a divine masculine who was having magic done on him where this weird witch woman was, like, trying to confuse his heart and his mind. But to, like, so that way he makes the wrong decisions. So she's trying to, like, confuse his heart and trying to confuse his mind. But it's not working because he's just going by faith. And the reason why he's going by faith is because he's seeing you. You go by faith, right? You go by your faith. And that's allowing him to see things differently and see things how how to be in the wheel of fortune by just your faith alone. Hi, pumpkin pie. I want to see what this one is. That's nice. All right. And I also feel like he's starting to realize that by faith alone, by you walking in your faith, there's a train. Um, and believing, like truly believing in the Most High God, that's just going to open so many doors for you. With the Hanged Man and the Seven of Cups, Seven of Waters, that's just going to open so many, so many doors for you and, let you, and lead you into the Wheel of Fortune. Blessings, abundance, finances, peace, joy, happy, love. You're giving this person... Uh, front row seat example of this and I don't I don't there's nothing in them is telling them to go back to this snake charmer I don't know I you're gonna ten of cups the water Ten of Cups of the Water. Ten of Water, which is Ten of Cups. This person wants emotional fulfillment, happiness, um, peace, love, joy, family with you. This person wants to build with you, wants to home with you, wants romantic partnerships with you. This snake charmer could have been convincing him to use you for money and use you for what you have. But it was really her that wanted what you have. So if she had an inkling that you were going to get a new job, new car, new home, new life. Boy. She was like, I don't know, convincing him to use you to see what you have and what can be taken from you. It's like she was sending him out as a flying monkey to you. But I feel like because of your faith and your heart is, you didn't see that. You just seen someone who, like, great potential. And, and it, that was that's what was really messing with this person. That's what really was messing with this person. This person was a flying monkey sent to you. But when you looked at this person, you didn't see a flying monkey. You saw, I don't know, potential. You saw someone you can invest with, someone with gifts and abilities and a great heart and whatever you saw whatever you saw in this person that was really messing with this person that's that's what that was what you saw in this person they didn't see in themselves and they must have not ever believed that, that was a thing within them because of this queen of fire in reverse the snake charmer it's like you instilled something into this person and they didn't see it in themselves and you were like trying to save this person even though they were sent out to attack you and they were a flying monkey to you. And their first response was to bite you and to scratch you and to like attack you. Right? But that was just from... That wasn't their flying monkey role. That was just like their emotional reaction to like these, these new emotions that they were experiencing. That they've never felt before. they never... It's never gotten sh emotionally shaken up before. Right? But mentally, it was also messing with them because in their mind, they're supposed to be attacking you. But it's like their spirit won't let them and their heart won't let them. But when they did something to you because of the snake charmer, this queen of fire in reverse, it wasn't feeling right to them. It, it just wouldn't physically, it would cause them illness. You see what I'm saying? This entire situation was for this person. So your presence kind of woke this person up and saved them from self-sabotaging, eating themselves alive, um, going down the wrong path, etc., etc., so on and so forth. The love that you had shown this person and gave to this person, it 
it really messed with them. Like, it shook them up so bad that it gave them a new perspective on life. That's the power of love. Right? That's what love does. It changes things. Anyways, this is the reading. Hope it helps. Bye.